Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials and let's talk about to do on errors and how we can handle errors when we uh, have our publisher with something bad happening on it. So we saw here in the beginning of the, the playlist that if we throw this error then we can get uh, on the subscribe. But there are some options in the publisher that we can handle this as well. So, for example, let's just uh, I can copy this one and then we'll remove because I don't like uh, pieces of code that are not useful. So, let's uh, change here to do on error. Okay, so let's imagine that we have the following case we have a mono. And uh, we can return this error, and this can be, for example, illegal argument deception. So remember that everything should be a string of something, and the uh, error is the same thing. So imagine that you have uh, another method that's doing something, and in case of an exception, you are just returning a mono error. And uh, then we have this method that's called do on error, and we can decide what we are going to do. So for example, here, let's just log this error by adding log error and then error message and then e.get message and we can use this log as well and then I will create the step verifier with create this uh, if you don't create a variable it would be quite difficult error and then expect error illegal argument exception dot class and then uh, not lock verify okay so let's execute this and you will see that we have this mono this mono is throwing an exception we are subscribing and request an unbounded uh, elements number of elements and then we have this uh, error message no because we didn't put in the message illegal argument Exception error. Let's just leave exception. So we have here error request unbounded error message. It means that if something bad happens in this publisher, we are going to do whatever we have here. And then uh, it proceed. Remember that we have own error method. We are not uh, doing anything, but we could uh, have something like here on error return, on error continue, on error resume, and so on. So, uh, this, if we subscribe here, error dot uh, subscribe, remember that we have uh, several options that we are going to handle when we are subscribing. And these two on error, it's uh, being handled by the publisher. So let's see, for example, another option. Let's say that we we would like to resume. We would like to get this error because if you add here, for example, do on next and uh, you try to print something. You will see that this do on next is not executed. As you can see here, there is no executing uh, being printed. Why? Because the do on error will just close uh, when this happens. So we don't have uh, anything going on next. Now, if you want to continue, we have another option. And this one will be on error resume. So on error resume, uh, it's a bit different. We have this do on error, and then we have here on error resume. So with this on error resume, whatever is happening, it will continue. But as you can see here, this is expecting a function. And as a function, it expects us to return uh, something. So let's return. Let's do some changes here. Now we are inside on error resume and then 
we can return another mono, for example, mono dot just, and let's say that we'd like to return something uh, fixed. We can create here again string name. And you could return here, for example, name. So I'm just showing the possibilities, and you will see that this will fail. Why? Because now we are resuming in case of exception. So we need uh, to check if we are expecting. Expect next name, and then verify complete. So as you can see here, even now that we have this exception, is doing something in case of this exception. Let's say we would like to call a fallback method, and then we are resuming with a value that we are defining. Now, if you move this down the line, you will see that this error message won't be displayed. You see, error message, we don't have anything here, because on error it's resuming and this is returning the mono. Now another option is uh, if you would like to just return something. So here you are returning another mono, but you could return just a simple value. And for that we have mono on error return. So the difference is that instead of using on error resume, we could use on error return. And as you can see, object fallback, and you could return for example, an empty string. Now let's check this one and the expect now is empty. Let's execute. And you can see that on error resume is not being executed. So basically everything down here is just being completely ignored. So if I move this one down the line as well, You will see that we have an error because we are supposed to get this empty back. So this is just uh, ways that you could handle exception in your application. So how you are going to use it, it depends what you are going to do in your application. Do you have a fallback? Do you want to store in the database everything that uh, that failed to retry again later? It's totally up to you. So these are some options that we have for do on error. So I hope you enjoyed, see you in the next video, bye.